Good day, folks. Got another little interesting product here I want to show you today. It is a macro lens for the Hero 5 Black from Polar Pro. Now, Polar Pro makes all kinds of cool lenses and accessories for GoPros and a lot for drones as well. If you have a Phantom 4, Phantom 3, uh, GoPro Karma even, they have a lot of different filters you can use with your drones. But what we're going to be looking at today is a macro filter. This is one of those things that's not for everybody. It's pretty specific and uh, mainly if you want to do a lot of nice close-up shots. You can see there on the picture, you know, you can get a nice close image with uh, this attached to your GoPro that you can't otherwise achieve just with the stock lens that's on the GoPro. So first let's open it up, see what all comes in the box, and then we'll kind of go over it. to the side so the first thing we have is the lens we also have a little case for the lens and this case actually doubles as a microfiber cleaning cloth so you can keep your lens polished up but you actually recommend for best results, it's very important to keep these absolutely clean. Any little smudges or dust will cause problems when trying to do macro photography or videography. Has a little strap you can hook up to that little hole there and attach it to your camera somehow. So, you know, if you take this off, it's not going to fall anywhere. A couple stickers. And finally, some instructions. Basically gives you a basic layout of how to use it, how to install it. Some pretty useful information on this little piece of paper. So, here it is here. And it's actually really easy to install. All you do is you slide it over the existing Hero cover. So it just slips on just like that. And stays firmly in place. So basically how these lenses work, the lens changes the focal length of the camera and basically anything that's going to be close up is going to be in focus, anything that's far away is going to be blurred slightly. So it gives you that nice effect. They recommend anything from 6 to 14 inches should be the distance, you know, for best results. And they also recommend shooting in medium view for best results. But uh, I've been playing around with it in different settings. and. Uh, even on their website, they state, you know, play around. There's all kinds of different things you can do with it. But for optim optimal results, use a, a medium field of view. Now, this can be used both when shooting video or photography. And you can do some really creative things. The reason I decided to get one is last summer, a few activities that my girlfriend and I were doing. I don't know how many times there was some really close-up stuff I wanted to do. And obviously the GoPro just isn't really designed for that. A good example is a butterfly sitting on a twig. You know, with this you can get right in there and get a beautiful shot. Nice and close up, full of color. Which you just can't really achieve with the Hero by itself. You can still get a nice shot of it, but not as close. And uh, not with a nice blurred background effect. Uh, that just helps bring the subject, you know, makes it pop. Instead of everything else in the background. I really haven't had much of a chance to use it yet. I just went out this morning and took a few quick shots and a little video clip just for the sake of this video, just so I could give you a bit of a demonstration. But I got a bit of learning to do with it. I'm going to do some more reading and uh, see what kind of things I can create this summer with it.
So that's really all for this video. What I'll do is I'll include the links down below in the comments down here and uh, you can check this out further and I'll maybe include some links to some of the other filters that they offer for the Hero 5 Black. Well folks, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Maybe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can click here to subscribe and over here I'll include some other videos that you might be interested in seeing as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.